this this baby is probably one of my favorite pieces in the piece that's waiting to be born it's called mute there's a really long story behind it that i don't have time for tonight but maybe one day we'll have tea and talk we mourned the emotions buried on mass beneath mute tongues Maybe if we had thrown ourselves on the casket, a tragic cabinet of questions hung open wouldn't have unhinged us. Maybe if the flowers had come sooner, the doors we could pass through would be as welcoming as inviting. In writing, we could say the things. In private, the things would say our names. In silence, they would perish in a well mud deep in wishes. Our mourning isn't black enough. Our wailing isn't wild enough. Our words are not enough, enough. The emotions get no justice. Aborted, muted. Where our dreams try to resuscitate us and our children claw at the soil with fingers that will tire inches into burial grounds, mistook as sacrilegious when they are anything but reaching for the feelings in desperate, separate, starched and pressed, kneeling in the surrogate brain of our pain, soaking our prodigy and our poverties of time and energy. I guess it's good for busily building growing things, but the grass is rooted deeper in our emotions than our emotions are in cortex. In context, our amygdala will only smile a knowing smile at those secrets, but we will ever be in mourning. Till the feeling noise breaks through to us, we will never see a morning. Until the emotions are rescued from the gentle night we've kept them in, we will ever be in morning. Dead. Thank you. <laughs>